Welcome back to Up North Half 4. Today we are at the Rhinelander Airport. We're, behind us we have Lifelink and we are here with Valerie who is a flight paramedic. Valerie, thank you so much for coming in, joining us here today at the airport. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out and seeing us today. And so we have Lifelink, right? So maybe for those that don't know in the community, give us a little bit of background. What is Lifelink? Yeah, so we are an air medical helicopter service um, between us, our base here in Rhinelander. We also have three more ba or two more bases in the state of Wisconsin, one in Marshfield, one in Rice Lake, and then multiple bases across Minnesota. And we also have a fixed wing, so an airplane that does long distance transports uh, that goes throughout the country. And Valerie, for all purposes, this is a, an ER in the air, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We have all the ER equipment, the ICU equipment, so everything is there. So if anybody's critically hurt, critically sick, we can take care of all of it for them. Uh, while we're taking it from one hospital to another, or if somebody gets hurt like on a scene, something like that, car crash, something, they'll call us right to the scene. We stabilize, treat, and then transport to the closest area hospital that they need. And for the With Life Link, maybe tell us a little bit about new resources or programs that are being implemented. Yeah, absolutely. So besides our equipment that we have on board, which consists of carrying whole blood, uh, liquid plasma, which we're the only service in the area that cares, carries those. We have a Lucas device. So we can actually do CPR on someone uh, while we're in flight. Uh, we do lab work in flight. Um, we have a seat of the art ventilator. So, you know, we're doing all these things we can to make sure everybody gets the proper care that they need and gets the best care that they can possibly get. We are definitely a patient first forward you know organization our patients are everything so we need to make sure that the northwoods is getting the best care possible that we can provide you mentioned the northwoods and many may think that you know services like this are just for big cities not the case anymore right no absolutely not you know the fact that we are here providing that to these residents i mean mm -hmm. all of us that work here we live here you know so this is our hometown this is what is important to us to make sure that our loved ones are getting the care that they deserve and that's why it is so important to have such uh, forward thinking and, and the best care we can possibly provide that LifeLink does. And that's why we're here in the Northwoods. They need it. We all need it. Mm -hmm. And Valerie, um, maybe what are some like things you want to tell the viewers, maybe that they might not know of when it comes to LifeLink or any kind of last information? Yeah, so we are so like, a, you know, keep saying patient right. focused. We would do everything we can, but our training is just it's, it's, it's insane, really, the amount of training that we go through in order to do this. Um, you know, we are always learning. Education is extremely important to LifeLink. So besides, you know, our monthly criteria we have to meet, we have quarterly criteria, yearly criteria. So there's things that we are doing to make sure we are the best that we can be for our patients. So walk me through that. There's somebody based here all the time. Correct. All comes in mm -hmm. and you run out here, literally run out here. What, how does that happen? So when we get a request for a flight, it comes in through our communication center. They dispatch us to that flight. The first thing that happens is a pilot checks weather. Obviously, we have to make sure it's safe to fly. Mm -hmm. um, so once that has been done, they deem that we are safe to go. We are in the aircraft and we are in the air and we try and maintain that in a 10 to 15 minute time span. So it doesn't matter day or night, whatever time it is, those tones go off, we jump up and we get going. Yeah, and Valerie, you know, there's lots of nurses out there, but this is something different. Why did you choose to go in this direction for your career? You know, it's kind of the, I hate the gold stand, you know, you, it's that dream that you always want to get to. You always want to get to be the best in your field. And when you think when you, you know, you're a baby medic, as I call it, when you're first starting out, starting your career, I want to do flight and it's to get to that point. And that's something that here at LifeLink, we fly with a flight paramedic and a registered nurse on board at all times. Uh, so it's something that the two of us in the back, we're always brainstorming what's the best we can do for this patient. And we bring different things to that you know field of having those two different career paths um, where we have, you know, the, the critical on scene doing that, the ICU experience of the nurse, and we collaborate together to provide care for the patient. Let me ask you this. How do you, how do you insert a needle when you're traveling 100 miles per hour with turbulence? <laughs> like, how do you do your job well in that environment? Practice. <laughs> a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, that's the thing. You know, we all practice. We go through an extensive uh, orientation period where we are, you know, making sure that we are the best we can be. Um, they teach us and they drill it into our heads and we keep practice and practice and practice until you get it down. When you get a call, so what is uh, one of the uh, big uh, hospitals that you take the patients to? Anywhere. Anywhere they need us to go, we will go. Uh, we take patients down to Wausau. We're taking them to Weston, Marshfield, Madison, Milwaukee, uh, Duluth, the Twin Cities, um, Marquette, wherever we need to go, we will go. And sometimes all of those places all in one day. So it's safe to say that having this equipment here has saved lives. Absolutely. You've saved lives yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. And so what does it mean to have this place? You're expanding. You keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What does that mean to you? 
Oh, it's great to see. It just means that that care is being expanded and we're able to provide more care to people in areas that may not have it. You know, we look at us here in the Northwoods, it's pretty rural, um, but we're able to get these people, our, our residents here to bigger hospitals where they can get those specialized treatments that they need in a very quick amount of time. Yeah. Well, you're a hero to a lot of people. We appreciate what you're doing, so thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, I thank you guys, and thanks for coming out today. <laughs> well, thank you for all this, and this is really great for the community and for all of you to know mm -hmm. about LifeLink. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back after this break.